the second one is decimal number system the decimal number system has the base or radix is 10 because of base or radix 10 it consists of 10 independent symbols 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so that is 0 to 9 okay each and every digit in the given decimal number is called as a decimal digit the decimal number system is a positional weighted system in that decimal number each and every digit is multiplied with the corresponding positional weight then we are getting the given decimal number okay here the decimal number is a sequence of decimal digits starting from 0 to 9 either 0 to 9 symbols suppose we are taking this decimal number this decimal number consists of 7 8 3 2 4 6 7 symbols okay so we can observe this decimal number this decimal number consists of the independent symbols 0 through 9 okay here this point is called as decimal point this decimal point separates the integer part and fraction part before the decimal point this is called as integer part after the decimal point this part is called as the fractional part so the decimal point separates the integer part and fraction part so each and every digit is called as a decimal digit okay so this decimal digit is multiplied with the corresponding positional weight based on its position relative to the binary point before the binary point the positional weight starts from right to left that are 10 power 0 10 power 1 10 power 2 10 power 3 10 power n after the decimal point the positional weight starts from 10 power minus 1 to 10 power minus k okay so now observing that 3 has the positional weight 10 power 0 8 has the positional weight 10 power 1 7 has the positional weight 10 power 2 in the same way 2 has the decimal positional weight 10 power minus 1 4 has the positional weight 10 power minus 2 6 has the positional weight 10 power minus 3 7 has the positional weight 10 power minus 4 okay we are observing this uh, number is uh, multiplied with the corresponding positional weight the leftmost digit the leftmost digit is 7 7 has the uh, greatest positional weight among all the all the decimal digits before the decimal point so that digit is called as most significant digit that is called as MST okay so right um, rightmost digit here rightmost digit is 7 this 7 has the low least positional weight among all the weights of digits in the given decimal number so this 7 is called as the LSD least significant a digit this 7 is most significant digit because it has the greatest positional weight this 7 is called as the LSD least significant digit because it contains the least positional weight so leftmost digit is called as the MST most significant digit or most significant bit MSB 
rightmost digit is called as the LST least significant bit or a least significant digit. Okay. Now consider this example 9256.26. This decimal number has the independent symbols 9, 2, 5, 6. Okay. So before the decimal point, the positional weight 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2, 10 power 3. After the decimal point, the positional weight 10 power minus 1, 10 power minus 2. Okay. So now 6 is multiplied with 10 power 0, 5 is multiplied with 10 power 1, 2 is multiplied with 10 power 2, 9 is multiplied with 10 power 3, 2 is multiplied with 10 power minus 1, 6 is multiplied with 10 power minus 2. Okay, so these are all called as the products. So by adding these products, we are getting the decimal value, decimal value that is 9256.26 okay so this number is called as a mixed number because it contains integer part and fraction part okay now we go for octal number system